Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. Here is part three of this haul video. I did not realize <laughs> all the things I had until I started to film this and uh, I honestly thought it was going to be two parts, but here I am doing part three. Um, so if you haven't checked out part one and part two, be sure to go check those videos out. There are lots of fun things in there and um, this is just a continuation and um, looks like this might be the last one. So let's get started so you guys get to see all the fun things. So the first off, the first thing I have here is a tablecloth, still new in the package. Um, what size is this? It's an oval, it's 60 by 84, and it was from Montgomery Ward. I don't know what that is. If that's a store, we don't have that anymore. Um, so I don't have an oval table, so I'll definitely be selling this one here. Where is this one made? It says made in Brazil. 1991 100% pure cotton and it's protected by Scotchgard stain release so that's that's good um, what do we have here we have a couple of stockings so we have Santa here and no markings on this one and then we have a snowman here and these definitely go together like a pair and it has um it looks like a buttonhole here but i guess that's where you would hook your stocking those are really nice those are it's really well made we have some smaller stockings um i wonder if these are handmade so we have felt ones here that red is really faded and it actually looks like pink but i don't know if the camera's going to show you that um well, maybe if I held this up next to each other, you can see. So we have this one. It says Brian 79. And there's a cute little bell here on the bottom. There is this ornament here. It's like a fabric um, piece that you would cut out, sew together, and then stuff. That's a cute angel there. Okay, we have this here, and it looks like it's a handmade candy cane holder. And this is what it says, so it has a holder um, that unhooked, but this is what it says, and I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says, December 1st to Christmas is the longest time of the year. Seems as if old Santa Claus never will appear. How many more days till Christmas? It's mighty hard to count. So this little tree of candy will tell you the exact amount. Untie a candy every day when Sandman casts his spell and Christmas will be here, my dear, by the time you reach the bell. So you would start opening up the candy all the way up until you hit the bell and then it will be Christmas. But how crazy it is that the candy has survived all this time. Um, so I will definitely pull out the candy and um, maybe replace it with some new candy. And then maybe come Christmas time, I will show you guys what that looks like again. There are some linens here. So I think these small ones are coasters. We have that same design, but squares. And then these napkins here. All right, what else do we have? We have this Christmas light box, and obviously I mainly got it for the box. Um, if the lights work, that's great too, but I just really like the box. Um, it's blue and um, it has the star, starburst designs. So I was happy to find that. This is what the back looks like. Some more napkins. If you guys are tired of the napkins, I'm sorry, but <laughs> she had a lot of them and they were just too pretty to pass up. Like how awesome is that design? And it was originally from Target and it looks like she got it for 25 cents clearance. That's what the back looks like. A lot of napkins in new in the package. 
Okay, we have this set of six porcelain candle holders with candle. It says 1976, made in Taiwan. It comes in this box here, and they are this little tiny thimble looking guys, and then you would stick your candle in here. And it says candle in here, but I don't know if the candle is in there. Maybe it is, maybe on the bottom. But there's the box of six of them. I have the top of an ornament box and these are the ornaments that were inside and I have ornaments like this but I got it because you know I knew I was gonna get a good deal on all the things and um, I wanted to get the box as well I don't think I have one of the boxes that look like this so I don't think it says anything on the bottom. So there's that. There's this here. It says copyright 1983 Bradford novelty. And it is, does it come with a story or is it just the ornament? Oh, it does say something inside here. And then it comes with the ornament. So that would make a cute gift. And I did, do think that it's already been hung because there is an ornament hook on the inside. So there's that one. There's this one here. There's this sweet little girl. With the goose or a duck. And there's this one here. So two girls and two boys. There was this flashing light tree topper and I thought that since it was new in the package I could try to sell this. Um, it was originally only $2.99. I'm not sure what it would go for but um, I picked that up anyway. So we have this mobile, I want to say, because you're so nice, here's a Thanksgiving mobile. So it says, Happy Thanksgiving, and there are all these critters hanging off of it. And let me see if I can pull it out in one piece. No, it looks like some of them have fallen apart. So here's part of it. And then the rest of the guys are here still on the bottom. So... There's that. Am I holding this correctly? No, it's this way. Yeah. So I'll have to kind of piece that together. We have this painted guy. It's a little mouse, I think, holding onto a gigantic candy cane. And it looks like it was stuck onto something, but I'm not sure what it was. So I bought that to sell. So when I see an apron that is beautiful, I can't seem to pass it up. So here is this one here. Check out how beautiful it is. And I don't think she ever used it. I need to figure out a way that I can display some of these aprons because I know that I've never wanna, I, I never wanna use this and ruin it, but I also want to display it. So I'll have to figure out a way that I can display some aprons. So there's that one. There was this one here and it looked like this was like a for a child because it's yeah it's definitely for a child it's it's small so we have that one we have this one that's for a child as well look at that how beautiful and i think that's it for the aprons okay there's this set here it says Noel and it's from 1982 and it says for use on mantle table bookshelves as a decorative piece and it's just it looks like this it has the Noel and the train attached to it and then you would stick your candles in there and it, it's just like a decorative piece but it was new in the package and it looked like it was 
you know, in good condition. So I think maybe I'd try to sell it. I know that Christmas time people try to get sweaters um, for their ugly Christmas sweater party. <laughs> so I got this one. If you don't consider this ugly, I hope that this doesn't offend you that I'm saying it, but here is this sweater. Um, I don't know um, like what time period this is, but the brand is Ratio and it says it's made in Korea. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe like 70s, 80s maybe? I am running out of room here. I'm just gonna put that to the side. There's this, it says National Republican Congressional Committee, and it looks like these are some, it says magic motion cards, but I don't think it's gonna show you the magic. So let's see, you, do you open it up? Yeah, so you would open it up to this, like to set it on the table maybe, it has a kickstand and then, or you can just hang it on the tree. But it's sort of, I think, holographic I think maybe is the word um, I don't know if you guys can see it but the candles or the light bulbs in there are like turning on and off oh and I found these beautiful angels in there they're these beaded angels and I've seen beaded flowers but when I saw these beaded angels I was so excited also um, I did I think drop the halo for her um, and I'm not sure where it is. So I'm hoping it turns up, but if not, you know, I will try to give her another halo. But how cool are they? I, I was really excited to find that. I did pick up this necklace. Um, does it, how do, you, how do I put this on? It doesn't have a hook on this side, so I don't know. I don't know how I would hook it on. It's missing its hook, but it's the these crystals. And um, I like picking these up. I've worn them a handful of times, but um, I just can't seem to leave that behind. I have a tiny box here. It says, ha a quarter red RC. And when I opened them up, they were the smallest dice I have ever seen. I mean, that would be so great to use for an assemblage. Um, I mean, they are teeny tiny. Um, I mean, look how <laughs> tiny they are. And I don't know, like, did they go to a dollhouse or was this part of a game? I don't know, but um, it came in this tiny little box and I was very happy. Um, We have a couple of, what are these, um, recipe books. So here is this one. And I like this one because it had the shape and then it had the seven and the crown that went with it. There is this one here. It's a Spanish chicken by Beth Merriman. And that's what it looked like. I'll show you guys the back so you can see just the time that this is from. And then we have this one, it says fun with foil, indoors and outdoors, new gift and decorating ideas using Reynolds wrap. And it looks like in this picture, they have wrapped everything in foil. How funny is that? Um, I just never thought that you could do so many things with foil. Was that a thing? Did people actually do these crafts? Um, very interesting. There is more. Could put um, candy in there. Oh, and they even give you some templates here on the back that you can copy. So that is it guys um, for this estate sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked and be sure to subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in the next video. Bye.